Good afternoon everyone, this is my report about promotion of gender equality and empowerment of women. During the pre-colonial era of the Philippines, there is an equal importance to maternal and paternal lineage. Philippine women have enormous power within a clan. They were entitled to property, engage in trade, and they could exercise their right to divorce their husband. They could also become village chiefs in the absence of a male heir. And they could also achieve status as medicine women or high priestess and astrologers. And there are numerous women who are entitled as Hara and Dayang or the so-called queen. But when the Spanish colonized the country, the women lost their rights in the society, the total opposite of what the ethnic women experience. Men are the only ones who are allowed to have more rights compared to women. When it comes to education, men are the only ones who have the rights to continue or to pursue their dreams in order to have a good job and to cater the needs of their families. Whereas, if you are a girl during the Spanish colonization, all you need to learn is the basic reading and writing skills. And once you learn the basic in reading and writing skills, then you can stop going to school because all you need to do is to learn or is to do the household chores and take good care of your family. But if you want to pursue your studies or only those who are lucky enough to pursue their studies uh, have maybe their, their family is rich or middle class, so those are the lucky ones who can pursue their studies. But there's another but about it because the only courses they can take are the courses for women. Yes, there is discrimination and these courses are limited. To name some, the courses for women that they can have when, if they want to pursue their studies are teaching, or if they want to be, they can be a teacher and they can be a nurse. But other courses like engineering or architect, doctors, those courses are for men only. And women cannot take those courses during this time. So, muna siya nakapait aning panahon na. Also, women can have the right to vote but they don't have the right to engage in politics because... Men during these times or women during these times are being looked down upon. Okay, Their skills were not uh, appreciated. They are looked down. So they have almost no power. Well, let's continue. Gender equality is not only a fundamental human right but a necessary foundation. Yes, this is important. Gender equality is important because during those times, gender discrimination really breaks the heart of especially us females if we were born born on that time it is really sad so it is a necessary foundation for a peaceful prosperous and sustainable world luckily there has been progress over the last decades more girls are going to school fewer girls are forced into early marriage yes because during uh, that time the one who decides whom you are going to marry, the number one, the leader, is the father. And it's very rare for the mother to engage on that one too. But she had or she needs to consult the head of the family, which is the father. So, so sa ano to bali-bali, ang father get ang magbot during this time, those times uh, Spanish colonization. And more women now are serving in par- parliament and positions of leadership and laws are being reformed to advance gender equality. Despite these gains, many challenges remain. Discriminatory laws and social norms remain pervasive. Women continue to be underrepresented at all levels of political leadership and one in five women and girls between the ages of 15 and 49 report experiencing physical or sexual violence by an intimate partner within a 12-month period. 
Once again, gender equality, it is the view that everyone should receive equal treatment and not be discriminated against based on their gender. Kung kaya ng lalaki, kaya din ng mga babae. This is one of the objectives of the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights which seeks to create equality in law and in social situations such as in democratic activities and securing equal pay for equal work. In practice, the objective of gender equality is, is for people to acquire, if they so choose, equal treatment throughout a society, the workplace, or any other policy-designated sphere. But sometimes this is not true. The woman is less, less valued than man, as you can see in the picture. Who is having a good time and who is having a hard time? Why? Why is it like this? Let me explain. Uh, before I will explain the picture, let's have these facts. Globally, 750 million women and girls were married before the age of 18 and at least 200 million women and girls in 30 countries have undergone FGM. So, it is true nga. Bisan og na slide objectives atong ganina nga slide na apagigihapoy nani. The rates of girls between 15 to 19 who are subjected to FGM or female genital mutilation in the 30 countries where the practice is concentrated have dropped from 1 in 2 girls in 2000 to 1 in 3 girls by 2017. In 18 countries, husbands can legally prevent their wives from working. In 39 countries, daughters and sons do not have equal inheritance rights. And by talking of this country, we know that especially in Korea, only the youngest, uh, the youngest in the family can uh, receive the properties being left by their parents, especially the male ones. They have, uh, they have great advantage. And in 49 countries, they lack laws protecting women from domestic violence. Even in our country, we have this one. Only in 5 women and girls, including 19% of women and girls age 15 to 49, have experienced physical and or sexual violence by an intimate partner within the last 12 months. Yet, 49 countries have no laws that specifically protect women from such violence. While women have made important inroads into political office across the world, their representation in national parliaments at 23.7% is still far from parity. In 46 countries, women now hold more than 30% of seats in national parliament in at least one chamber. Only 52% of women married e or in a union freely make their own decisions about sexual relations. Contraceptive use and healthcare. Globally, women are just 13% of agricultural landholders. Women in Northern Africa hold less than 1 in 5 paid jobs in the non-agricultural sector. The proportion of women in paid employment outside the agriculture sector has increased from 35% in 1990 to 41% in 2015. More than 100 countries have taken action to track budget allocations for gender equality and in Southern Asia, a girl's risk of marrying in childhood has dropped by over 40% since 2000. Okay. So these are the facts I got from my source, www.unorg slash sustainable development slash gender equality. So let's go back again to the picture I showed you, wherein the man was just watching television and the woman was washing the dishes. And you can see that the woman is not happy. So we have machismo or machismo or whatever it is. 
It is the sense of being manly and self-reliant. The concept associated with a strong sense of masculine pride, the supreme valuation of characteristics culturally associated with the masculine and by implication some say a denigration of characteristics associated with the feminine. It is associated, associated with a man's responsibility to provide for protect for protect and defend his family. And because of this term nga machismo, machismo whatsoever, kay lagi it is a man's responsibility to provide, to protect and defend his family. This leads to be imposing and has devalued the multiple women's abilities, denying the possibility of studying, working, and be at the same level that they. Fortunately, these bad ideologies have changed a bit its course, allowing the equality and giving a better place of women in society. These attitudes have triggered major problems of violence and abuse in families because as the man thinks itself superior. Kaya siya lagi ang nagbuhi, siya ang nanarbaho. So, he, think, he thinks he is superior. Siya rin ay katungod sa tanan. So, thinks that it has all the rights on his wife imposing its rules. Munang abusado na kayong uban mga bana. Gender equality prevents violence against women and girls. It is essential for economic prosperity. Societies that value women and men as equal are safer and healthier. Yes, it is true. Gender equality is a human right. The basic principles of women's empowerment are that women should enjoy social and political rights, financial security, judicial strength, and all other rights at par with men. There should be no bias based on gender. While traditional norms and mores are changing rapidly, women still need to be made aware of their basic and social rights. Empowered women means women who can make their own decisions for their individual benefits as well as for the society. The essence of women empowerment is substituting patriarchy. Diba patriarchy is ang, ang male, ragid nga member sa family, ang dominant. So, substituting patriarchy with parity. So, we have this question. What if this goal, promote gender equality and empowerment, achieve? What will happen if it is achieved? So, there was an answer that says, If gender equality and women empowerment is achieved, there will be more peaceful camaraderie and unity in every one of us. Gender equality is something all countries must possess. No one should ever be discriminated just because of his or her gender. Men will always be the foundation of strength, yet it doesn't mean that they could overpower women because the two beings are both unique and possesses special characteristics. Women, the bearer of humans and light of families, are essential part of a man's life and vice versa. Having gender equality promotes better workplace, better family relationships, and a more united community all working for common good. Empowered women means not overpowering men or having special treatment for women, but just an equal treatment against men. Labi na sa mga abusado kaayo. Empowered women inspires voiceless women that are afraid to have courage and be brave to fight for their rights. This support group brings women all together to have an empowered community that is not afraid to do and fight for what is right. So, let's have the women's empowerment principle. Uh, equality means business. Let's read. Uh, actually, it's very long. But, uh, luckily, we found this one. Nga, iya na lang gi brief. Gi minubo ang tanan principles. Because the principles are too many. So, all in all, if we combine all those principles, these, or this is the result, or these are the results. So, women's empowerment principles in brief, we have 
establish high-level corporate leadership for gender equality. Treat all women and men fairly at work. Respect and support human rights and non-discrimination. Ensure the health, safety, and well-being of all women and men workers. Promote education, training, and professional development for women. Implement enterprise development, supply chain, and marketing practices that empower women. Promote equality through community initiatives and advocacy. And last but not the least, measure and publicly report on progress to achieve gender equality. So, why does it resonate to me? When talking about gender equality and women empowerment, why does it resonate to us or to me? Because as a woman, it is our responsibility to promote gender equality because women are not weaker than men. And another, how can my interest be applied locally? How can we apply this one locally? Always remember number one, we are all human beings. No matter who you are, male or female, we all deserve the same rights. And number two, in a family, wife and husband should share the housework together. It is not women's job to do all the housework. And number three, woman is not an object. Woman is a human being. So that would be all for my report. I hope, I hope you have learned something from it. Thank you so much and have a good day.